Hello everyone. Today we're going to connect in Call Center Express version 9 to Cisco Call Manager version 9.1. So, first thing is we're going to log into both the systems. So, Communications Manager, log in. You can see the version that we have here. 9.1.2 and we've already created a couple application users that we know that we're going to need to be done so we've got an IP CC SVC username password scroll down and the groups they basically belong to and then we have an RMJ Tappy who is basically part of all the CTI groups And then we come over here to call center, log in. This is the first time we're logging in. So it will ask us a couple questions. Either upgrade or press install. We're doing a fresh install. Next. It's going to ask us for the IP address, which I've already populated earlier. We just reopen the browser. So that's the IP address of the call manager. Come over here. There's the IP. The username IP C SBC. The password. And then click next. It will process that information. Now it's asking for the license file. We've got a temporary license here that we're going to apply. And then click next. Processing that information takes a few moments. Validation completed. Please click next to continue. As you can see, it's activating services you can see that some of them have been activated Three left. Almost there. So now we see all services are started, activated.
Click next. Basically, we're going to go down the list and add everything in here. You see there's all these options here we have to add. So we have this. We have okay, looks like we're missing one section here. One last thing real quick. So we've added the JTAPI user and we need to go back here to application user and create a JTAPI user real quick so I'll show you how to do that so JTAPI, put in a password and basically hit save and scroll down to the bottom and we're just going to add them to groups all the CTI groups that's what we're going to do everything except for secure CCM end user. That's selected. Hit save. Update successful. Come back over here. We got scroll through everything once again. Call manager one, call manager two, IPCC, SPC, call manager one, and call manager two for CTI. And we have user prefixes JTAPI, and the password. Then we have RMCM using RMCM. RMJTAPI password and read password and we should be almost ready to hit next
and we can get next. Processing this information. And it's at the next section of the screen. And we'll give it give it five and we will give it twenty-five is the limit and codec we want G711. But next And here we have language group English. Group default English. So we click next, and we can't click next because IVR language configuration it thinks that we want this to go back and we'll go forward. Click next. Please download and run the Supreme Five CCX desktop client configuration tool after this setup is completed. So it's clicking on next. So now we define some local administrators. So we want it here. I'll add myself. Finish and we see that there's all of this useful information. Server complete, configuration is done, license file, service is activated, publisher activated, etc. 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 So now if 
the callback will be the call manager and verify the application user is there please close your web browser let's go back to the See if it, let's just get back to the screen. Well, we can click log out. Log back in. See if it will take us to the main configuration screen. And there we are, system version 9.02. So if we go to skills, nothing there. We want to look and see if there's any users set up. There are no users set up. So we can go to user management and user view. There's the users that are set up. There's really nothing else set up. Um, call manager configuration is right in here. It's processing. It's still initializing everything. There's all the information that we filled out. So that is how you connect call center UCCX Express version 9.02 to call manager version 9.1.